But if you close your eyes
Kevin, five goals today. Yeah, look, it was, um, we executed well, we created chances and we scored goals and at the end of the day that's what we've been trying to do for the last couple of weeks and, um, you know, we've been working on our processes throughout the week and we, we thought if we can if we can work on our processes the result will take, take care of itself and look, they're a very, very good side, as you can see in the second half, very intense, chasing everything still to the last four minutes to go and they're still in it, in it, in it trying to win a game, you know, so... Um, we were fully aware of that, we've spoken about it, we've played them that many times in the finals now, like it seems like we always seem to come up against them, so you know, we know where they're at and you know, they should be very proud of their season, you know, they, they started really well and it died off a little bit there at the end, that's, but that's amateur football, you've got to try and keep that momentum or time your run or you know, that sort of thing, so and that's, just, that's what we've done, so we've timed our run, we're eight on the trot now and we're a little bit gaining some momentum and the boys are confident and you know, with confidence comes, you know, execution. So they've executed game plans perfectly. So couldn't be happier. I mean, um, keeper was outstanding tonight. Um, Brendan Martin, he was, um, yeah, unbelievable. He's, in my eyes, he's the best goalkeeper on the Sunshine Coast. So um, you look at that under pressure, shot stopping, um, you know, yeah, very happy. And then to have the attacking force that we've got up front, you know, coach's dream, really. So I don't know who we're going to play next week. I really don't care. We're, um, you know, gaining momentum and we're excited and we're confident and see how it goes, big picture. Like I said to the boys, it's it's a step up from last year. We obviously re, rebuilt a side last year with a lot of young kids from reserve grade um, and our goal this year was to make finals and we spoke about it this week, did we overachieve this year with the, with the squad we've got and maybe we did on tonight's reflection on tonight's game but it's a tale of two, two halves really, like the first half they had three chances in the first 25 minutes and scored three goals. Um, they're clinical, that's why Kiwana is such a good side. Uh, they're a finals team, they know how to play, and they've got great guys up top, like Caden and Della and Ricketts, they're all great players. Um, I picked them in my team of the year. I thought they're, they're fantastic, they know how to win. Um, and they're clinical finishes, like three opportunities, three goals. I believe, and I don't know whether anyone did the stats, I reckon we probably had twice as many or three times as many opportunities created on, on goal and we just couldn't finish. Like Luke Alderson, Golden Boot, I know he's playing with a, a broken wrist and maybe that's playing on his mind. You wouldn't read about it, we rock up today and the referees decide that he can't play with his arm guard today. So we had to strap it up, whether that mentally took him off his game, I don't know, but really him and Fergie have been so clinical all year and tonight wasn't their night. A few other players had, had average nights, but the energy and work rate was there, especially second half. We, we had to go for it. Well, three nil down. We threw numbers forward and we could have had two goals in the first five minutes if it wasn't for a good couple of saves from their keeper and a good couple of clears off the line and we're back in it and we're a confident side. We really are. We, we feed off goals. Um, so, and it was inevitable that we, we threw everything at them for 35 odd minutes and it was inevitable if we didn't get a goal that at some point in time they were probably going to catch one on the break, which they did and then we just switched off at the end and it's a disappointing way to finish the year. Like we said last week, we are one point or two points away from being in the final at Maruchador and having a second chance if we had a bad day, but today there was no opportunity to have a bad day. Um, and we'll hopefully, like we said to the guys then, hopefully learn and improve for next year. We've got a good young group. Uh, if we can keep them together, hopefully pick up a few other guys and, and get the guys back that were out towards the end of the year um, and just keep building. It's just a bitterly disappointing way to finish the year, to be quite honest. I'm, I'm gut wrenched because you wouldn't, on if it was on uh, opportunities, we would have won that game, but it's not. Ashley spoke to the Calandra coach today and I said, mate, the way both Wumbai and Kiwana play, it could be a 6-5 classic to either side. Like, it could have been that game. And to be quite honest, we could have had six or seven goals in us tonight. Um, but those are the breaks. Well done to Kiwana. They deserve their victory. I'm not saying we, we deserved it. They definitely deserve to win the game. Better team. Um, defensively, much more sounder than we are. We've got holes and issues and... When we throw guys forward, we've had to play a system all year which is more defensive, um, just because we're just not good enough defensively. And then we've caught teams in transition on counter-attack and, and done really well with that. But 
Tonight, with the players out, we felt as though we had to probably attack more from the start, try and come through the middle. It didn't pan out because we, we legged three goals at the back. So we couldn't really execute that plan. We had to revert back to our plan plan A of all year in the second half. And it, and it really pushed the guys on and gave them a spurt. But yeah, at the end of the day, not good enough in front of goal. And if you don't take your chances in football, scoreboard pressure gets on and we lost the game. So like I said, I'm just disappointed. I didn't want it to end. Would have been nice to go on for another few weeks, but it is what it is. But if you close your eyes